my responsibility as an executive producer, I come as an, a Hollywood unit executive producer, which means I actually work with uh, Alan and his team and to make sure that everything comes on time, everything goes on time, and they paid on time. The goal always is to get together as soon as you can with the director, the producer, the visual effects supervisor, and ourselves, if there's work for us to be involved in, and figure out, like Jack said, how best to spend the money that they have and how best to realize the vision of the director. There is very much uh, the idea that you're, you're executing the director's vision. So whatever he wants, he doesn't can't do it himself, he doesn't know how to get there. There's a number of ways to solve the problem. So we, we assist during the actual shooting of the film during the visual effects shots to make sure that everything's in its proper place and I have the proper details to go back and work on the digital elements. We wanted to make sure the best in the world to be getting involved in the movie. Some of the dance numbers where we have a hundred um, versions of Rajini, and so we have the actor, and then we did background makeups and uh, masks, and then they do face replacement or head replacement. You know, it's, it's shot specific, so you mix the technologies up in the same shot to achieve something, you know, that hopefully the audience isn't pointing at and, and figuring out how it's done. There is a, a scanning technology, which is a dome technology. So you go inside and you sit, sit there, 73 computers, so that actually takes 73 points of your face and uh, boom, you'll get the beautiful, detailed, um, high quality image. And that's what, what we used in this one. Normally, we'd shoot the scene and then we'd uh, clear the actor and shoot a clean plate. Uh, I'd say 99% of the shots that we had puppeteers in or rods that needed removal, either the camera was moving or the lens was moving, and that's just the Indian style of shooting. Anytime you do that, you know, they can pull, they can get some plates and they can use a lot of that, but it almost always involves digital painting, which is much more labor intensive. Do I spend an entire day doing a motion control shot with hundreds of people standing around on a set burning through thousands of dollars a day, mm -hmm. or do a couple, you know, nerdy guys in a dark room work on it for two months? you know, digitally, and uh, usually the nerdy guys end up winning because <laughs> they're a lot cheaper. Thanks to uh, all of our panelists.